probably won't be able to chew his way out quite so easily now that he's had all his teeth taken out. I didn't have a hand in that, by the way, despite what he says. I wasn't even anywhere near there when it happened. And despite what Wikipedia says, I'm not even a dentist. So. You just can't trust anything that guy says, I'm afraid. It's a joke. Everyone knows that I hate cheesecake. My next door neighbour knows that I hate cheesecake. Because my next door neighbour has been there while I've been screaming about my hatred, my passionate hatred of cheesecake at 4am. Most nights, to be honest. So there's no way he didn't know. I don't know who's put him up to it though. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy that could pull off something like this on his own. He's not really got the, the skills. Fish cakes. I don't know what he's thinking, to be honest. I don't even know what he has against me, really. It's not like I did something to him. As far as I know, I haven't run over any of his pets or anything like that. that I know of, at least. It's possible. If he doesn't shut his door properly, leaves all his windows open, just lets his pets roam free out in the street. If a few of them are embedded in my tyres, it's not my fault, is it? Even if I see them there, you can't swerve to avoid small animals, because cars would just be going all over the place crashing into people, lampposts and stuff. You swerve just because one guy's weasel ran in front of your car. Wouldn't make the roads a safe place. <sighs> we'll see how it goes anyway. I don't expect too much more to come out of this. But if it does, I'm going to be prepared anyway. I made that pie earlier, so... I think I can handle pretty much anything that he can dish out. <laughs> 